ok <laughs> hello dear friends Kuku afternoon Kuku evening such a, a beautiful beautiful evening you can see the beautiful sunshine or the setting sun and uh, I think there is no place in the world or no time more beautiful than seeing the sunshine and especially the last drop of sunshine oh it's gold it's it is gold right so i just want to <laughs> share these glasses and uh, <laughs> share a moment i think i i ate yogurt and with and with um, jam I made my jam so I think it stained a little drop of jam because I was in such a rush have to finish something when you are a teacher you know your time has a frame and sometimes you really do not have time and you are hungry so this is what I, I did and I think it dropped maybe i should do a painting on top of it a butterfly something or something right in my heart <laughs> next time i wear it either i have a pin or have something i will cover it up let's see my outfit of the day So it's so comfortable. Everything yellowish, brownish, <laughs> and uh, this earring. And my students noticed, and one of the little girls, every time she noticed, and only second grade, and she asked, wow, your earring is pretty. So I showed her this earring, and she asked if, um, I asked her if she has a um, uh, has a a, a, dong dong, a hole here, and she said she does not have, but mother has, uh, but her mother has. Anyway, it's just the silly things, and uh, I I just feel so um, so connected, so happy, and I want the students. I want to be one of. Um, no, I do not want to be. I just, they are a, a young human being. They deserve a lot of respect and, uh, and it's really fun to chat with them. And uh, so that's it, <laughs> what I'm talking about. And I just want to uh, share with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is the glasses you have already seen and okay I said uh, today I wear this yellow color a little bit yellowish brownish I didn't wear this this ring actually this rubber band I didn't wear it and uh, pants and uh, shoes everything a little bit brownish a little bit yellowish so we are artists and art teachers so we should make our color a little bit more coordinated right so that's just this little thing and uh, okay i will move the camera to the other direction you do not need always see my face i want to make one shot without editing and uh, this way i can talk let me see i want to fix it i think okay i want to um make uh, one complete video without uh, any interruption so that i can upload directly and uh, on this part it seems quite uh, quite uh, uh, quite ordinary interesting but not too much airplane and things that really makes me happy 
and uh, what I want to say, oh, um, this is a, a neighboring city. How I get, when I am exhausted, when I am not in the mood of doing anything, I uh, come to this place. Usually, I do not come here. When I finish my job today, I do not want to go to home, go home. Uh, it will be cool and fun to go home so that I can swim, but uh, I just feel I am in the mood of seeing something outside, seeing something new. Let me just go wherever my instinct uh, takes me to. So I was thinking, okay, this direction on the east side. So I drove across the bridge, crossed the water, and came to this little town. And that part, or maybe that part, is um, a city uh, chamber of commerce. And it's very old style and so nostalgic and makes me think of uh, the movies of uh, uh, 50s, 60s, 70s. Oh, it's, just, it's very, very unique and it has uh, such a, a unique beauty. Yeah, it just, it just uh, uh, talk, talk, talk without any goal, without any purpose. This makes me happy and see people going with their families, have a walk, playing basketball. And uh, it's, it's, it feels like paradise. Comparatively, the house here does not look like uh, the big, huge, trillion dollar uh, big house in some other areas. But there is, there is something that is so solid, that is so original, that is so ordinary, that, that is so um, so warm, so charming, so non-pretentious. It makes me feel immediately, feel home, feel comfortable. I do not feel intimidated in this place. There are some, some cities, uh, each city has its own vibe. And this city has this vibe that uh, makes me feel very, very, um, very comfortable. Yeah. Okay. So I was listening to uh, to one teacher's podcast, and the teacher talk about uh, uh, classroom management how to be, how to deal with just everyday situation. And I found it's, it's, it's unbelievably, unspeakably charming, interesting. And uh, it's not, uh, it's not a, a stand-up comedy, but uh, what he said, everything is just oh hilarious it's so good and uh, he talked about uh, students relationship with students about his teaching job about uh, his his pride he's proud his passion his um, uh, feeling of teaching teaching it's just so touching and so positive and so real. I thoroughly enjoy it. And, um, and uh, okay, now let's talk about one thing that we chat about. One thing is power struggle. In classroom, 
there is power struggle. Sometimes you are in the middle of teaching, and suddenly one student mm -hmm. did something uh, that disturbed that that stride, that flow. It is. Um, it is. Uh, it is always my trouble, actually. And uh, and recently, starting from, I think around uh, one month or something, I kind of have uh, get a new attitude towards this. And today, when I listen to other people, other seasoned teacher. And they are just a real teacher, not a TED talk kind of teacher and only talk. They are the classroom teachers talking about uh, uh, these kind of things. And I, I find it just uh, so, yeah. Okay, here is my thought. Do not fight with student. Do not fight with anybody, actually. And uh, in my, in our life, in our workplace, in anywhere, there must be people who have different opinion, different experience, different many things that are different from you. And uh, to begin with, we do not need to try to convince other people, number one. Number two, we do not need to win over other people. And it's even more important, do not try to convince, do not try to win. And sometimes being the losing end, being the unsuccessful and give other people the chance to win does not hurt us. Do I make any sense? You know, someone have decided not to listen to us. It's not because they do not like us. They do not want to listen to us because it's their character, it's in their blood, it's in their experience, it's in their bringing up. They cannot listen to other people. They have to, to, they have to speak out, they have to be heard, they have to be the right one. And there is no way we can convince these kind of people, then the better thing we do is not even trying to convince, not even trying to win. And the most polite and graceful manner, method, manner is to lend our ear to these people. It's just because they, de they want it. And uh, if they are good people, if they have no evil intention, no bad intention, you give them some of this. You are helping another soul big time by giving them by giving them the audience so that they can feel good and once they released that part that has been missing that feel good part missing there is a better chance they are kinder back to you if we do not listen there is no chance they will listen to you Okay, so there are good people on a bad day. And also, there are bad people on any day. <laughs> I would not like to say bad people. I always think people 
who are bad usually have a reason. Maybe we do not know this reason. Maybe we do not understand the reason. Maybe we do not have the intention to learn about their reasoning. But that is out of our question. People, maybe they are not intentionally wanting to hurt us, to wrong us, to do, to do bad things to us. It's the history, it's the background. There are so many things make them unable to, to live a happy life. Then if we give them the if we give them the attention or just the ears or you maybe you do not even give your heart you do not need to give your heart to other people just lend your ear to listen to them nod from time to time or maybe you are even nodding on the wrong time on the wrong place anyway uh, have some this little bit of courtesy will will get you through this moment do i make any sense i am looking at this beautiful geese canadian geese and i am looking at the surrounding scene and not even paying attention of what i am talking about i hope that is not too, too, too wrong <laughs> what I talked. And um, so how do I deal with exhaustion? How do I deal with uh, no, I do not have a topic for this, for this part of a chat we just uh, <laughs> what I'm talking about okay so just uh, try your best and be a better person and uh, oh <laughs> that is quite a loud and uh, be the best of yourself, of ourselves, and that is sufficient. You have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evening. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Goodbye, bye. Oh, this is so beautiful.